You said you want to die. 18. Yeah, Obadiah 18. Huh. All right, Shalom, Mark Young. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we like to say Baraka Far, Yahawah, Ba'asham, Yahawah Shai, Ba'asham, Rakar Kadash. Double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and also um, salutations to all of the sincere Akim worldwide pushing this truth and sincerity. Um, some of the brothers from the GMS London camp um, just coming at you again with another topic being that you got Donald Trump right now, the leader, uh, you know, well, he's not the leader of Babylon, the, 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 the face of Babylon mm -hmm. up in London right now, meeting Theresa May. Um, and you've got it to where there's a lot of dissension in the UK. People are upset at this man, man, for the fact that, you know, and he, he, he's upsetting a lot of Edomites also, man. And mm. you know what Yahweh Shai clearly said um, when he cursed out the scribes and the Pharisees that if Satan be divided against Satan, his kingdom cannot stand. And that literally, that, that really is what it is, man, mm. you know. So without further ado, we've got an article, got some scriptures lined up and we'll get into it. Yeah, this is uh, from The Independent. It says, Americans in London warned to keep low profile during Trump visit by U.S. Embassy. Right, so the alert comes ahead of the anti-Trump protests that are due to occur to mark the president's UK trip. Mm -hmm. Americans in London have been warned to keep a low profile by the U.S. Embassy, which has issued an alert ahead of the... Uh, sorry, uh, which has been issued ahead of the President Trump's uh, visit to the UK. The statement on the U.S. Embassy website warns that numerous demonstrations have been planned during Trump's visit and advises people to be aware of your surroundings and to exercise caution if unexpectedly in the vicinity of large gatherings that may become violent. Yo, so basically, man, Edomites are upset, man. Edom hey, you got these London Edomites out here, and they've, they've got an article, If we, depending on how deep we go into the article, will tell you, they've even basically created a baby Trump and a, and a mockery of, 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 the Trump, of, of, of Donald Trump because of the fact that he's always on Twitter fucking mm. around mm. basically they're just saying he's illegitimate for the job he's not he's not worthy man and that's Esau fighting against Esau right there and furthermore that's gonna go from a level higher than just the peons of the nations that's actually gonna go up to the 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 the, the, the rulers man the mm. so so to speak the, or you know the the, the 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 puppet rulers those that are placed there by the so-called Jew you know hey Esau's going to have it to where all of these nations are going to come up against America and the nations that were once at peace with this with this whole are going to fire their missiles That's against right. them. Huh? Got precept, yeah. on, bro. Quick one. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Mm. So this is basically in the scriptures, man. And and guess what? You're gonna have, you're gonna have the common people, the public people, fighting against the governments. You know, the the people in the higher ups in, in society. It's gonna be a, a, um, a clash, man. A clash of all people. You're gonna have race wars, all of that, man. It's all gonna uh, a part of the the end times, man, that we're living in. Mm -hmm. I've got precepts. Go on, you can say? Go on, go on. <laughs> 9 from the top says, He answered me then and said, uh, Measure thou the time diligently mm. in itself, and when thou seest part of the science past which I have told thee before, right, then shalt thou understand that it is, it is this very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he makes. Mm. Yeah. It says, Therefore, when they shall be seen earthquakes, right, and of late you've been having a hell of a load of earthquakes. Having a volcanic activity, yeah. right? And there's the point that I wanted to get and uproars of the people in the world, mm. right? And like you said, oh, oh, hey, since you, you know of late, you've been having a lot of uproars of the people, and this is just a, a, another addition to it, right? You know, people pro like who would who would ever think of a time when people would be protesting the U.S. president coming to the U.K. Mm -hmm. The longest time you've had the U.K. and the U.S. having a, a special relationship, and that's something that's always touted, mm -hmm. right? But now now you're starting to see the, uh, what do you call it? Because yeah, the scripture is like, you know? like yeah, hey, hey, you got you. Got, you. Hey, no, I'm just saying, you know, that back in, land backing off what you're saying, you're seeing the animosity. Because mm -hmm. really yep. and truly, man, you saw the devil even to his own people. Really and yeah. truly, man. That's mm. one thing you got to realize. The scripture says, John 10 and 10, the thief cometh not but to still kill and to destroy. destroy. That's and that's what Esau's doing to himself and his own people. But mm. yeah, go on, bro. You was making your point. Yeah, no, I was just saying it was like, um, what we, we, we have right now is because uh, the prophecy says that uh, which got America's allies at the moment are going to shoot missiles at her. And a year ago, before baby Trump was in office, DJ Trump, 
Well, you're like, man, English, you missiles, America. But now you're seeing it. You're seeing the tariffs, right? You're seeing the uh, the, 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 the the difficulties with the tr with the Iran deal, mm. right? And people just don't like this guy. They just don't like him, mm. right? But that's because, you know, these English uh, guys are easily fooled. You know, it's easy to, t you know, the modern person, it's easy to tell them a way to think, mm. right? You know, because, hey, they, they, they're complaining about Trump, but, hey, these people live in England. England's uh, legacy is of blood as well, mm -hmm. exactly, just yeah. like America's uh, legacy. Mm -hmm. right? These are the same Americans that will then be celebrating uh, Thanksgiving, right? Talking about, oh, Trump's so evil as they eat a Thanksgiving turkey, mm -hmm. right? Commemorating the, 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 the genocide of our people. That's right. Right, like Gad and Ruben, the, uh, the North American Indians. Man. Hey, so, but guess what? Then he did he not the so-called white man when he came up against uh, uh, up against Gad, um, the, the, the Ephraim and Judah. I'll, I'll say you know and, and you know the, the native tribes. Mm. He used that the, the, the divide and conquer tactic. Mm. He, so yeah. ultimately speaking, the Most High is dividing Esau, man, and really and truly, man. Hey, the Most High is putting it in the mind of these Edomites to come up against Donald Trump. He's putting it in the mind of Donald Trump to 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 to, 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 to disrespect the other these these other these other political leaders, man, to cause yeah. dissension, man. It's all building up towards that 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 that, that war of Armageddon, one, man. Um, I'm gonna go quickly bring out the priest. I know you've been holding it, I think, but Obadiah in verse six, which says, "How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his, how are his hidden things sought up?" All the men of that confederacy have brought thee even to the border. Now you look at NATO. NATO is a, is a confederacy. The EU. You even got it to where who would have thought? And even something as basic as as England leaving the EU mm. back like early two thousands, you would have never thought yeah, that was going to yeah, be an issue. Now well, all of even a sudden, when they held the referendum, they never thought that was going to be a thing. Come, come. People thought like you know people are going to come to their senses. We're going to stay in the EU. Mm. The day people woke up and it was like yo. You know, you know, more people apparently voted to leave. Mm. Yo, people were bugging out, man. Yeah. Bugging out. You know, but it shows, man. That like Esau's confederacy is breaking apart, man. And there's all the war and mm -hmm. power of your Harbash me how that's yeah. working on that. It says all the men of that confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. What that's going into is that, like, hey. These nations, man, that have been at peace with America, giving their giving arms to America, back back in America, and all of the their their the, the, their wars, man, all of these years, are gonna finally turn around and really grow some balls and say, "Fuck it, man, we ain't down with your shit no more." It's like you know that that theory of there's a playground bully, and then you got people yeah. around him just because he's the guy. Mm. But then really and truly, people start to see like, "Yo, this guy's getting us into shit that like, we don't yeah. really want to be involved in." Fuck you, yeah. like, and that's exactly what it's coming down to. You got something else? Yeah, you. Hold on. let me get out. This is Revelations eighteen. Uh, I'm gonna start from verse. I'm gonna start from verse 17. This is basically uh, America, man. Babylon the Great, Revelation 18 and 17. For in one hour, so great riches come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors, as many as trade by sea, stood far off. Because you know, America, man, they're one of the biggest places for trading, man. They're between every country, every continent as well, man. And it says, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, that city is like unto the great sea. And they cast dust unto, unto their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, at last, at last, the great city, which is America, wherein were made rich in all that had ships in the sea by reason of her um, coastlines. For in one hour is she made desolate, man. This is future He's prophecy. That America is going to be destroyed, yeah, man. Yeah. Quick, rejoice over her by heaven and Ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High have avenged you on her. And the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down mm. and shall be found no more at all, man. And then Babylon America is going to get them nukes, man. Yeah. Them nukes, man, fired from all different countries, all different continents, all to aiming at America, man. Yeah, this is the judgment of the Lord. This is going to be in the last days, man, where we're living. Did you read that point with these how hate the whole... It should that's be coming uh, up. It's in no, that chapter, I believe. I believe that's 17, I think. You can look that up, yeah, but sure. Yeah. Because... Hey, in Revelate, the book of Revelations, it tells you, man, that these nations that are in conf and co currently seem yes, to be in confederacy with America are going to hate her, man. I'm going to shoot their missiles on and bring that out, bro. Yeah, sure. This is Revelation 17, um, straight to the point of 16. And the ten, ten horns which fell source upon the beasts, these... 
shall hate the whore. Go on. So you see, when you see the B structure, the B structure represents um, what you now know today as NATO and the EU. Originally, there were 10 nations that, that, that set that up, and over a period of time, they've expanded. You've mm. got situations like you've got the Portugal, Spain thing, you've got mm. you know, England, Scotland, etc., Wales, and all of that. But that goes into the original setup, and you have ba Babylon being the, the, the great whore that rides of that beast being America. Now, if you can read that again, Baba Kasha. Yeah. Revelation 17 16, and the 10 horns which thou sawest upon the beast. Which represents those original 10 NATO nations, really, yeah. NATO as a whole, gone, bro. Mm. We shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate. Now the whore being America. So basically, you look at like you look at it like uh, the, the, um, America being a charmer for the, these these the, the beast mm. system, which is which is NATO. And then you know, like ultimately speaking, that beast is gonna show its horns, man, and, mm. and eventually fight back against its, its, its master, really. Mm. And shall make her desolate and naked, mm. and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Now, how's it gonna do that, man? Mm. With those nuclear missiles, brothers been talking about like throughout the sit down. America's going to going to piss off these nations. They're gonna do something to piss off these nations where to the point where it's gonna be like, yo, man, we can't fuck with you no more, man. You getting us into beef that we don't wanna be involved in, man. You you had it to where Donald Trump earlier in the year put sanctions on China. And I forget exactly which nation it was, but you had some EU nations, Germany I know was one of them, came up and you saw it on the news and they were basically coming on the tip of what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. how are you gonna put sanctions against China, bro? Yeah, like even, even some of the sanctions they put on Russia. They were like, well, we do business with yeah. Russia. Yeah, man. What are you doing? Do Come. Come. That's right, man. Uh, hey, so you know, right now it's on a political still, but skill, but it's gonna get war. It's gonna get real. It's gonna mm. get real yep, war like real sure. soon, man. Mm. And it's, you know why? Because it's scripture, which means it's inevitable that that's going to happen, man. Mm. Is there more now? Or... Yeah, For the sure. Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill His will. Yeah, His mm. will. Proverbs 16 and 4 tells you that the Most High has created all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. Mm. Everything has got its purpose, man. And all of these nations are going to come up against... Hey, man, go on, bro. That's right. And to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. That's so, right, man. Yeah. That's right. So there's going to come a time, man, where, you're, you're, you know, Great Britain is going to fire up against America. Yeah. Paris, France, you know, Belgium... All of these, all of these EU nations are going to come up against America, man. There's going to be infighting amongst Esau's camp, and that's all prophecy of your harbour. Shmi have a shot. That's why you got it to where the American president, man, is coming down to London, and people are like, "Fucking, we don't want him. We don't want him here. Take him back to America. Mm. Impeach him." Yo, you know they're they're, they're fr threatening Theresa May, saying she's a disgrace if she if yeah. she meets with Donald Trump. That's how you know this shit is real, man. Yep. Esau's kingdom is finished, bro. Completely finished. You got infighting amongst the the the, the, the so-called the, the so-called higher ups, man. Come on, man. Well, sure. man you got, yeah, I got a preset. This is Jeremiah fifty and fourteen, right? This is uh, what's the This is one of them chapters you can start from the top. I'll just get to the point. Um, verse 12, uh, Jeremiah 15 and 12 says, Your mother shall be so confounded. Mm. Right? So, uh, in reverence to Babylon, which is America, and the mother is England. <laughs> right? It says, She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Mm. Because of the wrath of Yahweh shall not be inhabited, mm. but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goes by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Basically saying America is going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. right, completely destroyed. Right? It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So those that bend the bow, that's, that's uh, allegorical for all nations that have ICBM nuclear technology. Mm -hmm. Right? So what the scriptures is saying there is, look, all ye that bend the bow, hey, shoot at America. Spare no arrows. Basically, don't leave like three, you know, let's say you've got 10 nukes or whatever, 100 nukes or whatever. You might, you know, not saying don't leave seven, right? Use all of them. Give it all you've got, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who's all ye that burn the ball? That's as the brothers, brothers have been going into. That's including America's allies, mm -hmm. right? That's including America's enemies, mm -hmm. right? And then, would you call it that? Uh, that you know, e this Esau system is going to be completely destroyed. That beast, mm -hmm. right? The seven heads, the ten horns, that's going to be def de de defeated, man. Right? The NATO and the EU, okay. right? Because ultimately, the elites want that one world, that one world government, man. Okay. Right? So it goes on to say, um, 
uh, what does it say? All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, right? And then people go, oh, well, you know, why does America have to be destroyed? Here's the answer, for she had sinned against Yahweh. That's Come. right, man. Come. 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 And you see that sin every day, man. Every day. The first country to legalize homosexuality in every yep. single state. Everywhere you go, there's faggot, faggot enablers everywhere, man. Shit. You know, that, 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 um, they, they killed off the Native Americans. They, they established a whole land of mm. bloodshed. Bloodshed and witchcraft. Yo, that Monsanto, man. Mm. You know, hey, Nagasaki, um, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Nagasaki yeah. man. Yo, man de developed atomic warfare, man. This man is the fucking devil, man. Yeah, man. Monsanto. All of that shit, man. Damn. All of that, man. Yeah. Feminism. Feminism. All of that. Gay rights. Destroy the family Abortion. Structure. Abortion, yeah, yeah abortion. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, the source of all wickedness on the planet Earth. You read Malachi, the first chapter, the fourth verse, man. Yo, the borders of wickedness. Yeah, man. Where, wherever you, hey, the borders of wickedness. They go over to all of these other nations, and then they spread that that democracy, that wine, that, that, wine, that, that wicked ass philosophy, man. Mm. Come on, man. Hey, oh, hey, that's what the scriptures is talking about, and this is why there's dissension, man. Hey, man, you got it to where even the wicked can see the wickedness in the. Yeah, in the you know what I mean, this is true. crazy, man. Crazy. That's right. Go on, man. They're hypocrites, man. Go on. Well, it says, uh, I'm going to read Habakkuk. I'm going to start from verse 12. I'll read into it. It says, Woe to him that buildeth the town of blood, mm. establish a city by iniquity. It's what was going into. Mm. Amer how was America built? It was built off blood, right? And woe means destruction. So the Lord says, you know, this is one of the sins. Hey, look, destruction unto you for that, man. Mm -hmm. Right? It says, Behold, is it not uh, of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire? And the people shall weary themselves for very vanity, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of, the, of Yahweh, as waters cover the sea. Mm. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink. Mm. Right, and that's not physical liquor. Mm. Right, you can drink. There's nothing wrong with drinking alcohol, man. Mm -hmm. Right, hey, what was the Lord's first miracle? Turning water into wine. Oh. Right, scriptures also say, give a strong drink that so, to him that is ready to yeah. perish. Oh. Right, and then hey, in this kingdom, we're ready to. Hey, all last week when you had Pride London. Man, we were ready. Hey, we got out that, bro. I'll be honest, man. I got, I got onto the train and I was ready to. I was like, man, you all you see around you, faggots, That's right? It. Faggots and faggot and neighbors. We were ready to perish, man, right? So that what that wine, that drink that it's talking about us is is metaphorical. It's talking about philosophies, man, mm. right? Right, and what, what that bow was going into homosexuality is a mm -hmm. philosophy, a uh, democracy is a philosophy, it's, it's part of all, all part of that wine. Mm -hmm. Really, democracy because with democracy comes homosexuality, with democracy yep. comes feminism, with democracy comes abortion, mm -hmm. and all of that wickedness because democracy enforces that thing of free will. Like, yeah. I can choose yeah. my lifestyle, will. I can choose who my yeah. leader is, I, I can choose the crowd yeah. Yeah. exactly, yeah, darkness. and, and yeah. that's all that love yeah. thing is. Oh, you should be able to do whatever you want. Just love. Mm. Love. That's just that Alistair Crowley do as thou mm. wilt. Mm. Right? It says that puttest thy bottle to him and makes him drunk and also. It's not for Esau, it's not enough that he's called homosexuality. He wants to go to Iran and push homosexuality. He wants to go uh, to what do you call them Arab nations and push feminism. Mm -hmm. He wants to go to Africa, push homosexuality Bro. and abortion and all of that wickedness. Bro. And Esau, man, he's so wicked that he he has the mentality mentality that he wants even men to to bear children. Yeah, man. he he will go those lengths, man, them extra lengths. Yeah, to to create a next level of of evil, man. Yeah. He's these off bro. these times, mm. people are starving in the world, isn't it? <laughs> well, you spend the millions in research putting uh, wombs in men so that men can quote give birth. It's wicked, ridiculous, man. Right, and that's and that's why you got all of this. What you know, I made the point at the beginning of the of the video here it is you got people complaining that donald trump is get is coming but it's like look what this society stands for mm. yeah. right and that's ultimately hey we complain it is equal nine and four yep. you know set a mark on the men that sign that cry for the, all the abominations that be done in all the midst thereof mm. right these guys want to protest at trump why because he grabbed the bitch and grabbed the bitch right <laughs> now if that bitch had a woman had a man Right then, he's that's adultery, and mm. you know, according yeah. to scripture, should be put to death. Mm. But assuming you know, I I don't know if she did or she didn't. Well, so he grabbed the bitch in the pussy, and that's the worst thing that's ever happened. But these times, you got faggots roaming around the place, you have got transgenders roaming around the place, mm. right? You've got uh, what do you call it? You've got uh, you, hey, these women, these women are are are, are, are fucking mass murderers, man. 
yep, abortion, abortion after abortion after abortion. Mm. And you try to bring that up and say, man, I ain't down with abortion. Damn near everyone's going to curse you out, man. Yeah. Huh? It's a solution in this world, man. Huh? You hear certain things, oh, yeah, I got pregnant quite young. Why didn't you have an abortion? Mm. Like, that's like, normal. Fucking hell, man. Mm. Normal to kill. Mm. Wickedness. Mm. Which is yeah. why you're going to be killed in no mercy, yeah, man. That's exactly, right, man. Exactly. That's right. Hey, hey, thanks. Hey, look, oh, that's hey, a spirit. spirit. That's, that's a spirit. That's a spirit. spirit. Look. spirit. Two women holding hands. Yeah. yeah. Wickedness, freely like, doing you know, it as well. Out like, here, yeah. the, what time is it now? It's like t nearly basically yeah, 11 o'clock, the and they out here, man. Hey, back in the ancient world, you had it to where when the city's gates closed, bro, if the woman was not at home, bro, you was out there with the bandits and the yo, yeah. yo, 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 you know, man, you man ain't gonna snatched. see you again, yeah, yeah the, you, you ain't gonna snatched. see you again. You know, yeah. a woman ain't got no business out here walking at this hour, uh, no, gad abroad, give not that uh, daughter liberty to gather abroad. abroad, yeah. yeah. Because huh? right. then what happens, like, friends, you get you get all these fucking uni whores, man. Yep. You know, you have a daughter, you know, she's all good and innocent, quote, unquote. And you send her to uni and all she does is suck dick and get fucked, man. I have mm. our family members like that. Yeah. I remember no she, thought, she what, what, one of my cousins straight up said, yeah, yeah, man, you know. You know, uh, you know, I've been lips and bare black guys. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I'm hearing this shit third hand, second hand. I'm like, oh, okay. And it's like, oh, but I've been fucking all the white boys, huh? I'm just like... Pfft. Yeah, Jake got through it, man. Dude. Through it, man. But that's yes. what happens when you send your child uni, man. Mm. That's why I just, in fact, since I've quoted it, mm. uh, Baba Kasha. Oh. See, that's what happens when you trust in so the so-called yeah. white women's um, system, man. Yeah. This B system. Oh. He's been pumping them since young. I'll go to uni and uni. Look what, how your mm. kids turn out, That's man. right, that's right. So Sirach 25, 25 says, Give the water no passage, neither wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. Shit, man. Right, and that's and that's what the pres that's what presidents of America represent. They represent that democracy, that quote unquote freedom for all of this wickedness, man. Oh. They, they're down with that. That's really where that beacon of uh what you call it, wickedness is pushed forth yeah. in the world. Like we said, you are Stonewall, right? That was a place in America, and, he, and now uh, that's where you get the charity Stonewall from, right? They they push all of that faggotism, man. That LGBTQ, mm. um, RSTUV, XYZ, man. Right, that's where you get it from, right? America, abortion, Margaret Sanger, America, mm -hmm. right? Democracy, hey, 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 America's the one, you know, going to Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, pushing democracy, man. Dropping bombs that say, hey, you get down the way we want. Mm. Well, America's that big bully on the international stage. And who's the head of that, man? The president. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, on, on an artificial level. Obviously, yeah. we know it's the elite. Behind the scenes, yeah. Right? But that's like, like we're going into. These people are protesting. But they're not protesting that. Mm -hmm. They're protesting because they're told, that they're told not to like Donald Trump, man. These yep. people are fools, man. Okay. But... It all goes down to fulfill prophecy, man. Yep. That's right. That's it. That's right. That's right. All right. That's right. That's right. Oh, well, you got do, you want, do you want Obadiah? I'm not, I read it already. You read it? 18. Yeah, you read it already. Okay. No, it wasn't 18. It was um, 6. 6. Seven, but yeah, go on, bro. You got something? Um, yeah, I had um, Hold on a sec. Okay. This is Exodus 21 and 16. This is what America is known for, man. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death, man. Mm. So who does that apply to, man? Who who conquered us as a people, divided us as a nation, yeah, stole us from various places and um, sent us to various places like the, the transatlantic slave trade from Americas uh, to, to Europe? He stole us, man. And what mm. does the scripture say in John 10 and 10? The thief coming from not what? To steal, kill and destroy. That's and right. the scripture says he's surely supposed to be put to death. So that's the punishment for these Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why America, that vile land, is gonna get a heavy judgment. That's the right. scripture says in Revelations eleven eight that that place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, man. Mm -hmm. No? So even in the book of Revelation, the scriptures it's being des described as vile, man. Because what you get out of Egypt? Slavery. Mm -hmm. Hardcore slavery. Yeah? What was being happening to our children? We're getting fed to alligators, man. Alligator bait mm -hmm. base. You're chained up, pissing and shitting. You no fresh air. You the 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 chains were probably rusting into your skin. 
Well, some people died. Died, man. Shits, man. Died so, in the shit, man. So their body's putrefying or decomposing yeah. all on top of you. You have the women that would have been perioding and all of that. Yeah. Right? That period blood dropping on you and shit. Mm. No man, still has got man. a lot to But they ain't, like I'm saying, they ain't protesting that mm. though. They ain't protesting what America would England stand up for, man, which is mm. wickedness. Mm-hmm. How do we found it? Bro, because you really start questioning man, if we were to go down there tomorrow and question those people, why they're protesting, the majority of them motherfuckers wouldn't even really be able to give you a good enough answer, mm. man. Huh? Huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, huh? man. And, and and that's the spirit, you know. You had the, the movie come out, the the purge, mm. new purge, and a lot of it. Basically, the main characters are Jake in it, which reminds me of um, Jacob's Trouble. But in that time, yeah, in the purge, look, people are gonna be showing their true colors, yeah. man. Especially these Edomites, yeah, these hillbilly Edomites. If you're stranded there, they're gonna be getting their shotgun and mm. shooting you, man, and yeah. eating you up, man. You're a nigga. That's right, man. Need, need that spirit a hand, is coming, nigga. man. Hmm? That hardcore spirit is coming. Yeah, I'm done with that. I got this to finish off in it. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, this is Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Mm. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. So inevitably there's gonna be race wars out yep, here, man. That's it, man. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. gonna be race wars out here. You gotta understand that, yo, like people are gonna take this on a personal level. Like mm. this shit is gonna get real. But it goes on to say, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That means you're gonna have, you're gonna see MPs, local MPs, having their houses broken into, raided, because people know that's where the money's at. Mm, yeah. All of these public figures, these models, these artists, these celebrities, these celebrities, yeah. celebrities whatever, whatever field they're in, whether it be mm. sport, football, mm. you know, basketball, music, they're gonna be getting targeted. People ain't gonna give a fuck, man. You might have been watching a man at wireless one month, and then the next month you're rubbing his house, but shit's yeah. gonna get real out here. It says here that a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Mm. For because of their pride, the city shall be destroyed. The houses, the house, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Mm. Point being, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbour, mm. but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You're gonna have to have it where Esau's devilish nature is gonna come out, man. All you Eve, all you, all you, all you Eve is married to e- Edomites, man. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah, be surprised, yeah. man. Were you the first one to die? Like you know, like in a movie where the yeah. so-called black person dies. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. they're gonna be like so. You know, I mean, I mean, Kevin May, you know, um, you know, you're gonna keep that nigga bitch, or you know, we're gonna eat her. No, it's gonna yeah, get that yeah, real. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, get yeah. that real. That and your daughters. And your mm. daughters are gonna get that real. You're gonna have Edomites, snake and Edomites, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you see it in the workplace already, man. Mm. You know, yeah, you yeah. see it in the workplace already. It's gonna get carnal out here. Esau is a carnal man, man. Mm. So it, it ain't nothing for an Edomite to, you know, mm. to switch up on one of his own, man. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, it says, yeah, lack of bread and great tribulation. Mm. Now, you gotta understand, if that's gonna happen on the peon level, think about these other, these other, these nations, man. Think about it to where, like, where, where Russia's backing Iran and these other nations, yeah? Mm. Think about it to where, you know, really and truly, like, you got nations like the Italy's and, the, and you know, the Portugal's and Spain's that yeah. are not necessarily the strongest. Now, you got, hey, when they get dragged into this war cause of America, mm. you know, you, hey, you know, uh, inevitably, so feelings are gonna get yeah. caught, man. Mm. You know, you know, if Russia <laughs> yeah. rolls up on on Portugal or something, yeah. or Italy, one of mm. these weaker nations, like yo, we gonna take you out. They're gonna be like, yo, you know, don't forget, yeah. you had them mm. World War One and Two. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. your guys basically yeah. like, yeah, hey, you know, I want, I want no this smoke. Side. I don't want <laughs> no smoke. I'm joining yeah. you. Yeah, you no, know? it's gonna happen again, man. Mm. It's gonna happen again. You see the tensions out here, man. Right. And and America ain't necessarily doing right by these nations, man. Exactly. Donald Trump is and as mocking, Mer- um, what's it called, Merkel. Merkel. Yeah. Yo, you know, uh, hey, you know, the Germans are a strong military power too, man. Yeah. If they switch sides, it's, it's a huge advantage to 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 yeah. to, to, to America. But don't mm. get it twisted. Both sides are gonna catch heat. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Russians and the and the and the Americans are Edomites, man. At the end yeah. of the day, yeah. you know, and it tells you in Ezekiel the thirty eighth chapter, the Lord said he's gonna he's gonna bring bring Magog against yeah. America. Uh, Babylon with hooks in there, so it's already prophesied. Esau right. gonna fight Esau, man. You got something? So Isaiah thirteen fourteen, it shall be as a chaste roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people mm. and flee everyone to his own land. Well, it's basically you know it's a precursor to that race war, man. Yeah. Now you're gonna have people turn into their own lands, and you know this whole you know uh, mixed multitude, you know all this integration and shit. That ain't going. Uh, what do you call it? That ain't going to be running in that time, right? Yeah. So everyone that is found shall be thrust through, 
and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. That's right. Right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Man, I'm saying that those race wars, man. You're gonna, you're gonna be having people. Uh, what do you call? It? You're gonna be having the race wars. Like I said, right now everyone can kind of, you know, mix and match and all that. But that ain't gonna be the case very soon. Huh? Right? Huh? Yeah. But yeah, that, I mean, that's more or less the point on that one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, man, but ultimately speaking, I feel the point's been hit. Mm. Yo, Donald Trump's going to come, uh, he's, he's in the UK, so like, yo. Yeah. yeah. Mm. People are feeling the type of way about it. Ultimately speaking, they're fools, they're peons, they're told mm. what to believe. Mm. But there's dissension, man, you know. And I'm telling you, man, people haven't felt this way about a president in a long... Exactly. Yo, you got Americans that are like, yo, American Edomites, like, yo, yeah, we yeah. got to take the hill, them mm. hillbillies and like, we got to take this man out, man. Mm. You know, shit is, shit is getting real out here, man. Mm. And he's, hey, yo, ultimately speaking, man, Yo, a lot of these nations are waking up to the fact that this man is the devil, bro. That's mm. right. Yeah, and you can see it spiritually, not just amongst Esau, yeah, but even all of these other nations. There's, there's there's dissension. You got you got it to where Esau's created a system where you got a group of Ishmaelites that are like, yeah, we down with the West, and then you got mm. the other ones like, yo, fuck you, infidels. Yeah. You got you got Elam, the same with Elam, Moab, Ammon. You got it to where all of these nations have. Alignments with Esau, some without man. There's this, the, there's the separation amongst um, amongst all, but Esau's mm. is up in the limelight to see. That's why um, Obadiah the sixth chapter says how the hidden things that Esau sought out, man. Mm. You know, you got it to where they were in the house of. I think the, um, Robert Shakar posted a video in the chat. They were in the house of parli Parliament, the house of Lords or something. And they were throwing shit at projectiles at each other. <laughs> or shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it just goes to show you these are supposed to be the lawmakers of the kingdom, yeah. Yeah. and then they're having fucking paper fights. And well, so, so, well, scripture you say such as the rule of the city is so the people that's yeah. right that's right man <laughs> that speaks for itself that's it. man that's why you people are out here all kinds of bugged out you know but yo man rule, race wars are coming man and mm. even amongst the, the, the race wars there's gonna be there's gonna be war war within the nations man you can yep. see it biblically right now you got two major Edomite nations that are gonna come up and fight mm. against each other and in the midst of it there's gonna be some side swapping man that's mm. right you know ultimately speaking a lot of judgment is coming, death, man. And yo, the prophecies are speaking, man. That's <laughs> the right. prophecies are speaking, man. That's right. That's right. right. So you, know? you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, you know, you need to repent, man. But, but obviously, through Scripture, the elect, they're gonna repent, and the one third, man, men, women, children of Israel, man. Uh -huh. So yeah, man, that's that's Scripture right there, man. That's uh -huh. right. And uh, the mark of the beast, man. Hey, man, it's it's out, but you know, it's not in a major scale. But nevertheless, man. That's the hour of temptation right there. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be coming down hard, man. Fine. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So, yeah, man, with that, man, whole brothers were edified and we'll say, Barakah Fa Yahawah, Barasham Yahawah Shai, Barasham Yahawah Shai, Barasham Rakwah Kadash, Barasham Rakwah Kadash, Double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Moses, Double honest to the elders of Great Moses, and Shalom, 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 Shalom.